Father, we want to say thank you this evening. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. Thank you for bringing us thus far. Lord, we want to appreciate you because we know that the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Bless every day, myself, our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, we want to go into your word. We pray that you will help us. You will enlighten our hearts. You will grant unto us the understanding of your word. We won't just be hearers deceiving ourselves. But we receive grace to live a life worthy of your glory through the power of your word in Jesus' name. Thank you, righteous God. For as many that will be joining us, those that have forgotten, don't remind, remind them. As many that will be joining us, let us all be blessed all together in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our King. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying amen. Thank you all for muting your mic. And I also appreciate us for coming again for this online bible teaching thank you for all our parents that are giving our children the grace to be joining us every sunday like this and they are not leaving them behind they, they too they joined us so i pray that we will not weep over our children in jesus name last week we started with the what god has called us year for us and what god has put in front of us like what we need to work with in the year 2024 and we started by the grace of god the topic was the theme for the year was be i mean is behold the lamb of god behold the lamb of god and we're able to consider a theme i mean a, a topic underneath that knowing the lamb of god a product of grace for me to know jesus as the lamb of god is extension of god's grace to me for you to know Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God. And we are not just knowing him. We have Jesus Christ in our lives. And last week we were able to know that we have to receive him as the altar and finisher of our faith. That he's starting the life with us and he's going to end the life with us. He started the year with us. He's going to see us through the year and make sure that we come to the very end of the year. And whatever we are doing in this world... I want us to see Jesus Christ in it. The focus of this message, since we according to the word of God last week, is that Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that came to take away the sin of the whole world. And I say, I would like someone to recite memory verse for me today. Who is ready to recite the memory verse for me? Without looking into your Bible, who wants to read it often for me? Can someone remind me of our memory verse? John chapter 1. John chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 29. Hey, John chapter 1 verse 29. God bless you. Can you recite it for me without opening your Bible? Okay. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Which taketh away the sin in of the world. Did you read this from the Bible? Yes. I asked you without looking into your Bible. Read it for me. I gave us that long time for us to go and read it by ourselves so that we can memorize it. The essence of knowing, having the memory verses for us to learn it at art. Without you going through your Bible anywhere, anytime, you should be able to tell us that the next day that don't see Jesus Christ coming. And he, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the old world. And okay, I've, I've put my host, don't mind me. Who takes away, which take, takes, takes away the sin of the world? You should be able to recite it without looking into your Bible. And we were able to understand, because our text, from our text, we read text, John chapter 1, verse 35 to 42. And from our text, we were able to follow the strength of the story. And we're able to get some lesson out of it for us. We saw how John introduced Jesus Christ to two of his disciples. We saw how the two followed Jesus Christ. 
They did not just follow him. Jesus looked back and saw them and asked them, what do you want? And they, tell, they asked Jesus, where, where are you living? And they followed Jesus Christ to where he was living. They did not follow him to that place. They stayed overnight with Jesus Christ. They learned from Christ. They asked questions. And the next thing we saw is that one of them went to go and call his brother. And we saw them that they were with Jesus Christ in the very last moment of Jesus Christ on earth. Andrew and Peter. And we are able to tell us that we too, we have to follow Jesus Christ. We must not just follow Jesus Christ. Stay with him. Know him deeply. Spend time with Christ. You understand? Don't just limit it to yourself. Extend the arm of salvation to people around you. Let them know about the salvation that you have received. Today, we want to talk about the significance of the Lamb. No, we say Jesus the Lamb of God. Who takes away the sin of the whole world. So when we see Lamb, what are the things that, the, 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 that we can say about the Lamb? Can anybody tell me? I just want to know. Praise the living Jesus. What, can you say something about the Lamb for me? Lamb. What do we call lamb? Hello? Move yourself and talk to me, oh. Okay. Who is talking? The lamb. The lamb, yes. What can you say about the lamb? The, Jesus found the lamb that the, the boy me was yes. missing. Who is talking to me? Who is talking? Please don't move yourself. I want to hear you, please. Praise the Lord. Please do not, don't fish I oh. Nobody is seeing you. Just talk. Can somebody tell me something about the lamb? Or move yourself and talk to me. Uh, the lamb of God is what takes away the sins of the world. I'm not asking about the lamb of God now. Just lamb. When you, when you hear lamb, when you see lamb, what is a lamb? It's a sheep. It's like a baby sheep. Baby sheep. God bless you. It's a baby sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, when we are taking lamb, 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 do we know what lamb is? Lamb is an animal. And it's like a young child. Young sheep. I mean, sheep. Praise the Lord. So, what do we call the uh, baby uh, goats? Hello, children. Somebody please unmute yourself and talk to me. What do we call baby goatee? Eh? Because we are arriving at something today. Praise God. My children don't want to talk today. All of them just mute their mic. The instruction given to us, mute your mic. You say? Kids. So, eh, let me start from that. We are all deliberating today. And I'm, I'll go to the word of God. So, when, when people are asking us, how are your kids doing? Do you think that we should respond that I have kids? Instead of identifying as a kid, do you think that we should recognize ourselves as a lamb? Or what do we think? Yeah. What's your view about that? Anybody? Praise the Lord. We we discover almost, almost all the time when people see you, they will ask you, Oh, how many kids do you have? Oh, how are your kids? So I'll just look at them. No, this is not the first time I'll be thinking about it. When people are asking me, they were, I, 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 how are your kids? How many kids do you have? I always see it as, why well, are they referring to my children as kids? So when I want to talk, me, I'll tell them that children, my children, not kids. Because when you look at kids, kids goes with, is a baby goat. Why the baby lamb is, baby sheep is lamb. So when you're asking, I think we should tell the people, the whole world that we have lambs, not kids. And that is the reason why I so much like the name God gave to us, Jesus Lamb family. We are Jesus Lamb. We are Jesus Lamb. We are not Jesus kids. We are not kids. We are lambs. So wherever we are, we want to show to the world that we are lambs. No, and that is the reason why I want to consider the word lamb today. When we are looking at lamb, the character of lamb, lamb is gentle, is innocent, and pure. Because of gentleness, innocence, and the, and the purity of the lamp. Sometimes people take lamp for granted. They say, just, just going, like, see, you're just going in that direction. When you, when, when you compare lamp with goats, you will see that there is caught clear difference. Although both of them are animals, right? Yes. Then, 
when we are looking at the lamp, the lamp, because why, why, why must we refer Jesus Christ as the lamp of God? And why are we taking ourselves after Jesus Christ as lamps? You understand? If we are saying we are Jesus' lamp, and we are saying that our Jesus Christ is the lamp of God, we, we must be able to live a life worthy, reflecting the character of whom we have been called by his name. When you see goats, I can remember when we were in primary school, they would say, goats, ah, it's very stubborn. Even when you chase it away, it will come back. It will beat goats. Use cane, everything, to tell goats, go away. After a few seconds, goats, goats will tell you that I'm, I'm not comfortable. I'm going back to that place. Stubbornness is found in goats. And God does not want us to be stubborn. Disobedience is found in goats. Praise the Lord. Lamb is a young sheep, as we have said. And God told the Israelites in Egypt to kill a lamb. Passover night in Egypt was a serious thing for them. And God gave them the mandate to kill the lamb. And when you kill the lamb, take the blood of the lamb and make a mark on your doorstep. Whenever the angel of destruction is going, the one that has been assigned to kill the firstborn in Israel is going and uh, in Egypt is going, it will not branch, it won't come near you guys. And they all obeyed. Why? Why the lamb? Why not goats? Do you know that we can use goats to make sacrifice to God in lift takers? They can use birds to make sacrifice, even when Jesus Christ was being dedicated. I think it was two pigeon that the mother was able to present for Jesus' dedication. They are not that buoyant to the extent of buying a lamp for Jesus' dedication. Praise God. But why, why is it that we are talking of the lamp? And why is it that Jesus Christ takes after the lamp? And that is the reason why our curiosity today we want, to, we want us to see the life that the lamp lives. You know, when Jesus Christ himself was on this set and he was talking about the parable, he was saying about the parable in Matthew 25, verse 31 to 46. He was saying, those people, when I was sick, you visited me. When I was in need, you gave me food. When I was hungry, you take care of me. And they were asking him, why did we see you doing all these things? And Christ said that once you have done it to the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. So those people that were classified as people that were doing good things to Jesus Christ, he called them lamb sheep. That is younger. They are younger. Please move yourself. They are younger lamb, older lamb. Praise God. Call them sheep. And those that disobeys, that neglected their brethren in need, they were called goats. And Jesus Christ made it clear to us that he put lamb, sheep on the right hand, while goats were on the left hand. And when he was judging them, you go to the unhandy punishment. You enter into the rest of your father. Praise God. The kind of uh, placement, value, God placed on the lamb. Praise God. The lamb is gentle. The lamb lives in his innocence. In it, it just do things as it pleases. It does not struggle to do things. Not competing. And pure. Even when they were saying something, I could remember those proverbs that Yoruba people would say. That a, 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 a lamb or a sheep that, that mix with the good dog, we eat. We eat, we eat feces. We can see that from that, they are telling you that you can't see lamb touching on pure things. Lambs don't just eat anyhow. You understand? Praise the Lord. So from the word of God that we are considering today, looking at the significance of this lamb, what is that thing that God wants us to learn from the character of the lamb? God wants us to live a life that will bring glory to him as Jesus' lamp. You know, even when Christ was being taken to the point of death, in Isaiah chapter, I want, I want somebody we've not read Bible today. I just don't, I don't want to be talking. Let's open our Bible to Isaiah 53 verse 7. 
He was oppressed and he afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before uh, Shearer's is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. If it is God, if somebody wants to get good, you will see God crying and shouting. But the lamb just there before the shearer is ready to die. It's not struggling. And that is the kind of life that Christ lived. I can't just imagine. Somebody will be accusing me wrongly. And I will be looking at the person without saying a word. And they are telling me, you did this, you did that. And I could not defend myself. Christ really sh sh showed unto us the character of the lamb. He was not talking. He was just looking at them. Even when he was to talk, he was just praying for them. Could you just imagine? And why did he go through all the stress and horror? It's because he has come to save us. He came to deliver us. He came to give us salvation. Jesus came to give us salvation. He came to redeem us back to God. He came so that we can be the person that God wants us to be. So as Jesus' lamb, we have to learn the character of Jesus Christ. We must be able to be gentle. You do know that one of the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. And we have to bear that fruit. Do not be aggressive. I was telling the children yesterday in Bible club. I was citing an example and I was like asking them their experiences. And every one of them, they were able to say one thing or the other. Almost all of them were able to give their response to that question. And they were like saying their true color to be honest, to be sincere. This is what I'm going to do. And at the end of everything, we all concluded that we need to show our character by our good ways, by our good deeds. People must be able to see us and see Christ in us, even without we opening our mouths, talking to them, give your life to Jesus. They should be able to read Christ in us. They should be able to see us and see Christ. And boldly they can come to us, what is your secret? Why is it that when we stamped on you, when I push you, you did not re respond aggressively? They want to know our secret. They want to know what is, where do we derive our strength from? And that is what makes us Jesus' lamp. Jesus came to die for the sin of the old world as the Lamb of God. He shed his blood for the atonement of our sin. I'm not saying that you should go and shed your blood for somebody. Who, there is no more sacrifice. He has made himself the utmost sacrifice that one can make. So we are not, we are not a sacrificial lamb. But as Jesus' lamb, we are to demonstrate the power of God in time like this. We must tell the world that we are little Christ. We must let them know that we are little Christ. As we behold him, as we look unto him, as we recognize him in our lives, our lives must reflect his glory. And people must be able to come to Jesus Christ through us. I pray every power of sin and flesh that may make us to misbehave and not reflecting who we are in Christ, the Lord will destroy in Jesus' name. The Lord will grant unto every one of us grace to live as a lamb and not kids in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I want to listen to your side. Any question you want to ask me? Ma, what was this topic? Okay, today's topic is um significance of the lamb. The lamb. You get me? The significance of the lamb. That's what we are talking about today. So that's the reason why we are talking about the character of the lamb. And we're able to compare the lamb with goats. You understand? And we're able to take Jesus Christ as the lamb of God. How he reflected that character of the lamb. When they were accusing me, him wrongly, he was not arguing with them. He was not defending himself. He was just there to be able to fulfill the mission where he has come to do on earth. And he was slain as a sacrificial lamb for the whole world. Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes, takes away the sin of the whole world. He came to take away our sin. And he was sacrificed. He was slain. He was crucified. He died for our sin. And I'm telling us, I'm not saying as Jesus' Lamb, that you should go and say, I am a sacrificial lamb. Come and kill me. No, no more sacrifice. Christ has made himself sacrifice 
for every one of us. And out of his, the sacrifice he has made, we are being made to reflect his glory. So the character of Christ must be found in us. We should relate well with our friends. We should not react aggressively. We should not talk aggressively. Even some of us, when we are talking to our parents, we talk aggressively. We talk as if always you are just getting angry. Getting angry. Lamb will not behave like that. Lamb of God was quiet. Quietness was found in him. So when you are reacting, when you are talking, when you want to let people know what is going through your mind, you do it with all gentility. The gentleness must be and I'm making us understand that it's one of the fruit of the spirit that we must be. That Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Praise God. Do we understand what we are doing today? You can talk to me now once you hear you. Or move to yourself and talk to me. Oh, please, what is the memory verse? We are still reading John chapter 1, verse 29. Okay, ma. John 1, 29. Do some people want to talk? Praise God. Do we have any question? No? So let us pray. I want you to receive grace from the Lord. Close your eyes and tell God, give me grace. Grace to be able to display the character of the Lamb of God. Grace, ability to be able to live as Jesus' Lamb indeed. Lord, release your grace upon my life. Many of us, we don't want to commit sin. We don't want to react aggressively. We don't want to talk anyhow. But because we are lacking the grace, it's, it's impossible for us to live the life of Christ. Tell it to God, Lord, help me to live the life of Christ in this perverse world I find myself. In this generation you have called me to, let me reflect your glory and show myself to the world as the lamp of Jesus Christ indeed in Jesus' name. As for wisdom, God's wisdom, God's knowledge and understanding to be able to deal with people of the world in a prudent way that will bring honor to God in the name of Jesus. Commit this new week to the hands of the Lord. Tell it to God that throughout those week, the Lord will go ahead of me from Monday. That I'll be going to school to the last day in um, Friday, working, working days in this week. Holy Spirit, help me. Grant unto me uncommon favor in my, in my academics. Make me to excel. Help me, oh God. Let me know your will for my life. Give me grace to study your word and be able to be more prayerful this new week in Jesus' name. Let my prayer be answered by you. Commit the hearts of children that are yet to know Jesus Christ to the ends of God that they will have an encounter with the Lord. And the Lord will create an avenue for them to be able to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And those that are behaving as kids, indeed, that the Lord will give them the heart of lamb. They will be able to live as Jesus' lamb in the name of Jesus. Tell it to yourself that, Lord, I will not be disobedient child. I will obey all instructions from my parents and my teachers in the name of Jesus. Pray to God that at the end of your life, here on earth, you will reign with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Can we say the grace together? Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever in Jesus' name. Amen. With long life and prosperity, the Lord will satisfy us and show us the salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. We are young, excellent, and successful. Yes, we are for Christ. God bless you all. Do have a wonderful day. 2 p.m. next week, we'll be coming. Yes, 8 p.m. for those of us joining us from West Africa, Nigeria. And 7 p.m. for those of us joining us from UK. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. See you next week. God bless you. Bye. Successful. I am young, excellent, and successful. I'm for Christ.